Why is outpatient or same-day anesthesia, also known as ambulatory anesthesia, significant? Why should it be considered a crucial part of modern healthcare? Today, we delve into the world of ambulatory anesthesia, a type of anesthesia where patients are discharged on the same day of their surgery. It's utilized for procedures that don't necessitate an overnight hospital stay. This field has revolutionized the method in which surgeries are conducted and the manner in which patients recover as we delve deeper into the realm of ambulatory anesthesia. It's crucial to understand that like all medical procedures, it carries certain risks. Complications can arise, and it's our duty as healthcare professionals to anticipate and manage these potential pitfalls. From minor issues such as nausea or dizziness to more severe complications like respiratory issues or adverse reactions to anesthesia, we must be prepared. Knowledge of these complications, along with robust risk management strategies, is essential to safeguarding patient safety and maintaining the highest standards of care. Remember, being aware of these complications and proficient in managing them is not only a responsibility, but also a cornerstone of our commitment to patient well-being. Our voyage begins with an essential cornerstone, the pre-surgical evaluation. The importance of this preliminary stage in the surgical process cannot be overstated. Not just a routine checkup, it is a rigorous and comprehensive assessment, ensuring we gauge the patient's readiness for surgery accurately. The crux of this evaluation lies in laboratory testing, a crucial component that enables us to gain an all-encompassing understanding of the patient's health status. It is through this meticulous process that we can approach surgery a full array of knowledge, thus providing optimal patient care. Ultimately, the pre-surgical evaluation is an indispensable tool that equips us to move forward confidently and assuredly. In the realm of ambulatory anesthesia, the true stalwarts are the common and special ambulatory procedures. These are not just trivial processes, but the very cornerstone of this medical field. Their complexity varies, yet their significance remains consistently paramount. They are the key that unlocks the opportunity for patients to return home to the comfort of their familiar surroundings on the very same day as their surgery. The vital role these procedures play cannot be understated, making them an indispensable asset in ambulatory anesthesia. Then, we encounter the management dilemmas of adult and pediatric patients. Each age group presents its own unique challenges and considerations. For adults, the dilemmas often stem from chronic diseases or lifestyle habits. For children, it's about ensuring their safety and comfort while dealing with their unique physiological and psychological needs. Speaking of children, pediatric considerations are an integral part of ambulatory anesthesia. Children aren't just smaller adults. Their bodies react differently to anesthesia and their emotional needs are different. We'll delve into the specifics of preoperative preparation for our young patients. Before we dive into the different types of anesthesia, let's take a moment to further discuss pediatric consideration, preoperative preparation, and the concept of administering anesthesia outside the operating room. It is important to note that pediatric consideration plays a significant role in ambulatory anesthesia. The preoperative preparation for pediatric patients often involves a different approach, taking into account their unique physiological and emotional needs. This could include employing distraction techniques or employing child-friendly language to explain the procedure. Furthermore, the concept of administering anesthesia outside the operating room is a growing trend. It can offer several benefits, such as reduced patient anxiety, increased efficiency, and improved patient throughput. This approach can be particularly beneficial for our younger patients who may find the traditional operating room setting intimidating. Understanding these aspects is crucial in ensuring the safety and comfort of our young patients and optimizing the overall anesthesia process. Now let's move on to the different types of anesthesia. In this scene, we delve into the diverse categories of anesthesia, general, regional, and sedation techniques. Each of these has a unique role inside the operating theater and beyond. We will scrutinize the details, aiding you in grasping why one kind may be preferred over another. Scene 9. Once the anesthesia has been effectively delivered and the surgical process is wrapped up, we transition into the phase of post-anesthesia care, recovery and management. This an indispensable stage where meticulous monitoring of the patient's vital signs takes place alongside proficient management of any pain or discomfort they may experience. 
During this crucial juncture, the patient gradually rouses from the effects of the anesthesia. Scene 10. Finally, the highlight that everyone has been anticipating, the release procedure. This signifies the moment when, after satisfying all the necessary conditions, the patient is granted permission to depart from the establishment. It's a monumental moment that signifies the conclusion of the surgical expedition. Moving forward to scene 11. Our journey of understanding doesn't conclude here. We are set to delve into medical complexities and the importance of quality assurance. These are the fail-safes that guarantee each patient is afforded the highest standard of care. In scene 12, we'll delve into the topic of cost containment in the realm of ambulatory surgery. As we navigate a world facing the colossal challenge of ever escalating healthcare costs, learning to effectively manage costs without sacrificing quality is a crucial skill to acquire. Scene 13. To conclude, we voyaged through the complex journey of ambulatory anesthesia, spanning from the stages of pre-surgical evaluation to the point patient discharge. We've delved into the challenges encountered when overseeing both adult and pediatric patients and scrutinized the diverse forms of anesthesia. Our discussion extended to post-anesthesia care, emphasizing the significance of quality assurance. Finally, we've evaluated the impact of cost containment in the operation of ambulatory surgery. Scene 14. Let's not forget, ambulatory anesthesia isn't merely about inducing sleep in patients. Its primary focus is to safeguard their well-being, ensure comfort, and oversee their consistent safety throughout the so. The next time the phrase ambulatory anesthesia echoes in your ears, visualize the voyage we've just embarked on. A voyage that's transforming lives, one patient after another. Voice over. After the patient is discharged, we enter into the often overlooked yet vital phase of post-up care recovery and management. This stage is just as important as any other in the ambulatory anesthesia process. It involves managing pain and discomfort at home, ensuring the patient's comfort and well-being. This stage also includes the patient's transition back to their normal life. It is during this phase that the patient begins to resume their everyday activities, gradually regaining strength and independence. So remember, the journey of ambulatory anesthesia doesn't end at the discharge. It continues, subtly yet significantly, even in the comfort of the patient's home, until they are back on their feet, living their normal.